I actually found the tumor myself by doing um, a monthly breast exam. And unfortunately, I hadn't been very good at doing them uh, the last couple of years. Um, you know, you have kids and life kind of gets in the way of taking care of yourself, I guess. Um, so for whatever reason it was last, last year on a, sa on a Saturday in September, you know, I thought, hmm, I should probably do an exam. I did not have my annual appointment set up for seven more months, so who knows how much more progressed. If I hadn't decided to check that morning, who knows how much more progressed that could have been by that time. There were a lot of tears. I just immediately started crying. Um, you start thinking, I have small children. My children were five and seven at the time, so you start thinking about them and Am I not going to be here to see monumental things in their lives? And I, those are just the types of things that just started going through my mind immediately. I was pretty naive when it came to hearing that cancer diagnosis. I immediately thought, this is the end. How much time do I have left? And, you know, I, I was assured that's not necessarily the case. You know, luckily in my situation, it was found early. So um, I was given a very good prognosis right off the bat. The biggest toll for me was the weekend following treatment when it was really hard to, to do much more than get out of bed and you just weren't feeling like doing a whole lot. And you know, that's the time that you have to be with your family is on those weekends. And I was missing out on a lot of that family time. And that was the biggest struggle for me. The other piece was the hair loss. You know, that's kind of a big, that's a big thing to, that's what makes you look sick. I mean, I hate to say it, but that's kind of the thing that I felt made me look sick was when I actually had to shave my head. When it got to the point where I was combing it or you'd run your fingers through it and you'd come out with a clump of hair, um, that, that was a lot more difficult for me than actually going through the shaving process. It actually felt really enlightening. <laughs> it was kind of like freeing just to have your hair gone and that type of thing. Support has been amazing. Um, first of all, from from coworkers, all of my coworkers, whether it be from DGC, um, I work very closely with the Human Resources Department down here, um, everybody very supportive. I mean, whether it be calling me, you know, to talk about it, sending me messages, um, you know, they did these wonderful gift baskets and, you know, not only thought of me, but thought of my children and my husband and, you know, things to kind of help them throughout the journey. My family, of course, my husband was, I could never made it through it without him because he kind of almost had to take on a, especially during the chemotherapy treatment and then when I was recovering from surgery, he had to take on kind of almost that single parent role because there was really a lot that I just couldn't do or couldn't bring myself to do. So he was still ensuring that, you know, everybody was making it to, to practices and to school and getting those schoolwork done and fed and bathed and you know, all those types of things that normally as a mom you help out with and take the lead in and, and he stepped up and did all of that while also supporting me and every time I had fears or concerns remaining positive and saying, you know, this is only going to turn out good. Um, there were fundraisers that were done in the community. Um, they did a raffle. Um, yeah, it, it was just it was just unbelievable the type of support I got. Um, you know, and whether it would be even Facebook messages or, you know, like I said, calls and people sending flowers and stopping by the house and yeah, just absolutely unbelievable. I I couldn't have not been positive if I didn't want to because everybody's going to make sure of that. <laughs> Everybody's gonna make sure that I was gonna be positive and be happy. When everybody tells you, you know, don't take every day for granted, that cancer diagnosis really makes you look at every day differently. It makes you look at people differently in the respect of um, being more kind. Don't let little things bottle you up and get you all upset. Somebody, so I think about like getting cut off in traffic. You know, that's something that usually just, Arr. but why? Why should it? You know, it, okay, so that person maybe shouldn't cut you off in traffic, but it's not worth it to get completely upset over. Um, really valuing more of the time with your family, you know, being more present and in the moment, I think part of, and guilty of this also, the phones and social media and being so wrapped up in that and you really miss out what's going on around you. So um, being more present and as far as myself, I 
found out I'm a lot stronger than I really thought I was. <laughs> I know that may sound cliche because with the cancer diagnosis, you know, you talk about being strong, but to ever think that, I mean, before this happened medically, I was an extremely boring person. To go through surgeries and stuff really scared me. I was not prepared, but knew that I was gonna have a very long medical journey ahead of me. And um, so to make it through that and that, that was that was amazing to me. <laughs> the earlier that you can find breast cancer, the much greater your chances of, of being cured. So early detection is key, definitely.